Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. In our last video we set up this simple product. Showed you how to do that, really easy to do. Let's go back to our products page here. We're on the dashboard, we're in products. There's the product we set up. Today we're going to set up a variable product. Now a variable product is something that has different colors, different prices, different sizes. For ours, we'll, we'll create another product with a desktop computer that has different hard drive sizes and different amounts of RAM. So let's get started. I'm going to hit the Add New button at the top. And let's say Gaming Desktop. Now we're going to do pretty much the same as we did in the last one. So I'm going to fly through that bit pretty quickly. If you want to learn how to do the simple product bit, please watch that video. It's in our playlist below this video. So I'm going to copy the title there. I'm going to put in all the things that we put in before pretty much for the simple product. Now for a multi product, we need to start off as a simple product. So we'll leave that as a simple product. You want to put in your price, just like we did with our other one. Put in a sale price if you want to. Tax status and tax class, we covered that in the last video. Let's pop down to inventory, decide how many we've got. We'll say 20 of those. And we'll get a notification when the stock drops to two. It'll said send to the admin email. Now this is a real product, it's a physical product, it's not a virtual product or downloadable product, so we can leave those unchecked. Shipping, for mine I've got uh, $20 shipping throughout the United States. Here, if you want to do it by weight and calculate it with your shipping classes that you've created, you can do it right here. Okay, so let's go down to link products. We didn't have any yesterday, but if you want to add linked products, We've got one product in at the moment, which is a laptop. So if I just put in three letters, lap, it should find it. There it is. So we can link this product. And you can do that for multiple products. And if you wanted to cross sell with, with a different product, do exactly the same thing. Put in the first three letters of whatever it is you want to cross sell. And it'll find it for you. You can add it. And you can add another one and another one, as many as you need. So we could actually do that today. We couldn't do that yesterday as we only had the one product. Now, let's go down to Attributes. This is where we're going to add the variations, well, it, the attributes that are going to make up the variations for our actual computer. Now, there's a drop down here, but that's going to be the only thing in it at the moment. There we are. So let's hit the Add button and add some attributes. OK, first we'll say Hard Drive. And let's say um, 500 gigabyte and then you separate it with a pipe a pipe is the sort of straight up looking key and it's usually above the enter key on your dashboard there pipe 750 gigabyte pipe and we'll say one terabyte there we go now at the moment these say visible on product page that's absolutely fine save those attributes let's add another one let's say the amount of RAM that it's got perhaps and you can keep adding these color whatever you want to add to them and we'll say it's a gaming computer let's start off with uh, 8 gigabytes then the pipe same thing as above 16 gigabytes yeah pipe pipe and 32 gigabytes great so let's save that one too okay so we're still on a simple product here it's saved those now and if we look in there 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 now that we've got those, I'm not going to cover advanced and get more options. We did that in the simple product. 
Let's go back up to simple product and turn this from a simple product into a variable product. And again, we want to just go down. Now we've got a thing that says variations here. But before we can actually use this, if I go in there, before you add a variation, you need to add some vari variation attributes in the attributes tab. Well, we've added some attributes, so you might be thinking, well, why is this flagging me about this? We've actually got to go in there now that we've got a variable product, go into the attributes, hit the little drop down arrow over here. We've got to check this little box that wasn't there when it was a single product, simple product. Got to check it and say used for variations. And go into the next one, do exactly the same thing. Save the attributes. Now we can go back into variations. And it auto updates. And if you hit the little drop down here, you can manually add a variation if you want to. But I'm going to get it to create variations from all the attributes. And that's going to take the various different hard drives and the various different amounts of RAM and create variations from all of them. So I'm going to hit that one and hit the go button. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do that. Yep, I'm sure. And it says nine variations added. And here we are. And you can go through, as it says, we've not got prices on these variations. So we need to go through hit the little drop down arrow on each one and decide on the price for it. Variation price, whatever it is, 508 gigabyte. So this is the smallest, so this would be 799. Put it on sale if you want to. We don't need weight, don't need a shipping class. We'll say that's the same as the parent, which is the, the ma main one there. Tax class similar. So all I'm gonna do really is change the prices on here. 16 gigabit, gigabytes. We'll make this one $8.99. 32 gigabytes. $9.99. Etc. So you just need to go through and set these. I'll pause this and I'll do the rest and we'll take a look at our variable product. Okay so I've added the last price now. Let's save those changes. At the top, you can decide on what, what the default one that you want. Let's start off at the smallest with the smallest default price. This is the one that will pop up when they view this actual product right there. Now let's set our product image. Right, just drag the image over. It's fine. Alt text, we've discussed that before. A lot of people will put keywords in there. Like I say, really it should be a description of whatever the image is, but a lot of people do use it for SEO and put keywords in there. So let's set our product, product image. There we go. And you can add more images for a product gallery if you've got different images you want to add with it. I'll just put a few in there. And they'll appear underneath the main image. Now for each of your variations, if you want to, you can put a different image in. So I'll just, for instance, I'll do this 500 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte. Hit the little upload image icon here. And you can choose an image, whatever you like to do. Looks like I've put the same image in twice there. Let's get rid of that one and add a different one. There we go. Okay, let's roll up. And again, we want to give it a category. So let's add a couple more categories for this. Alienware, I guess they're quite a well-known black brand for gaming computers. I'm not going to give it a parent category. I'm just going to add that one. It's added it there. And let's also add one that's called desktops. Like I said in the last video, it's fine to have more than one category and we'll be going through this in later videos. 
it just helps you to organize things so let's add that category there we have it let's go up let's save our draft or publish it however you want to do I'm going to hit the publish button once published let's preview our changes and here's our product and there's our little gallery images underneath you can select those and they'll just pop up to the main image right there now you're going to notice with the pricing right here it says from $799 to $1299 which is great because of all our variations so let's flip through a couple and make sure they're going to update our price which is right there let's say 750 gig you see it increments up there let's add a bit more RAM 32 gig as you can see it jumps up the price there terabyte drive hangs it all the way up simple as that and you can add it to your cart and there you have it like I say, we'll be using the Divi theme later on to customize our product page here and make it more in line with our shop. This is fine. It's the generic version that comes with WooCommerce. Works absolutely perfectly. So there you have it. That is how to create a variable product with WooCommerce. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.